would like to welcome you and thank you uh, for your presence on today as we celebrate uh, the new amenities here at Fairwall Park. Uh, we want to thank our mayor, Steve Benjamin, in his absence. He will not be able to be with us today, but we thank you for the uh, for our council members with, here with us today, Councilwoman Devine, uh, Councilman Davis. Thank you all so much for being here and supporting this uh, initiative. We also want to thank our city manager, uh, Teresa Wilson, for her continued leadership, of course, and support uh, on all the parks and recreation initiatives. Uh, this is our actually our second ribbon cutting for today, uh, which is a continuous result of all the good work that's been taking place over the last couple of months. Uh, this, pro this portion of this project, of course, would not be possible without the funding provided through HUD, uh, HUD's Community Development Block Grant Program, in which we were awarded $219,534. Uh, we also received an additional $50,000 uh, from Wells Fargo, uh, the actual neighborhood lift grant, to help complete this project. Uh, which gives a total investment of almost $270,000, which is absolutely amazing and, and definitely appreciated. Um, the revitalized park features in a, um, with this new playground, uh, features a walking path, outdoor gym stations, a shade shelter, of course, open green space, an established tree canopy, uh, additional site amenities like landscaping and a split rail fence that you now see around the perimeter of the actual park. Um, the playground features an assortment of play elements from climbing uh, to slides to bridges to swings, uh, play adventure for two to 12 year olds. So we're, we're excited about the opportunity that is that is bringing to uh, this community. The actual outdoor gym begins along the, along the path with six different stations. Seating is provided along the path at, at select stations and the shade shelter veers out in the open space for the community uh, to have uh, picnics and, and activities as, as they choose to. Uh, the new amenities provide more than just play. This is what we're really excited about. It provides more than just play, but a focus on health and wellness for the citizens of this great community to enjoy. We are very proud, very proud of what we've done here at Fairwall, and we will continue this work uh, to improve the quality of life through our Parks and Recreation Department for this community. Uh, so thank you all so much for being here today. So now this time, I want to invite uh, Councilman Davis for remarks. Following Councilman Davis, uh, Councilwoman Devine will also provide remarks as well, and then we'll come back with some acknowledgments. Beautiful spring day, but uh, I apologize for not just springing up out of my seat. Uh, <laughs> Uh, little, a long day, but let me um, just add to uh, Henry's um, Henry's focus. Uh, this is the end product of a long journey. Um, I remember one night at a, one of the meetings we were arguing about replacing the equipment that was here versus uh, spray painting them so that it would look better. Um, of course, you know that, that that didn't go over too well. But um, we're here because of the partnership b between this neighborhood, this community, uh, staff, and the um, folks from the private sector that helped make this possible. And it's a stark difference from what it was I, let's let's say a year ago, and that's because again, you demanded of us that that we replace it, and at the same time, um, like any other neighborhood that's in close proximity to a neighborhood, you've taken ownership of this, and that, that again is the partnership. We we'll do what we need to do to help keep it safe and clean and and uh, but the the bottom line is it has to service the community and um, that is a partnership that's uh, kind of rare in some other places but uh, you have our commitment that that we will continue to partner with you on this um, and 
I want to ask you too, though, to encourage the moms and the pops to use the facility. Um, if it's used by the people who live there most often, then uh, it lasts a long time. So um, it's a beautiful day. Enjoy that site because it's going to be here a while and the partnership is going to be here a while. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm not going to be long. I just wanted to say how um, special this day is. Um, you as a neighborhood association have continued to uh, push us um, and work with us to get things that are needed in this community. And as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, um, you know, I grew up in this community, my grandparents' house um, right there on conveyor. And as a child, we would either jump the fence to go over to the school and play um, or cross the street and go um, over there. But there was nowhere I could walk to have a city park um, that was something that had stuff for everybody. And what I tell people a lot is as we grow our city, as we continue to, to promote inclusive growth in the city of Columbia, we are building a city um, that is called an 880 city, a city that is uh, made for those that are age eight and those for age, age 80 and everyone in between. And this park is a perfect example for that. So whether you are, you're bringing your children or your grandchildren, they have something to do. Whether you are a senior, you have something to do. This park is truly for this community and it's truly something that we as a city of Columbia are proud of because it really is part of that inclusive growth of our city and building an 880 city. So I thank y'all for pushing us um, and demanding uh, more. And this is uh, a great testament of what we can do as we continue to work together in partnership. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Councilman Davis, Councilwoman Devine, uh, for, your, for your comments. Just, just wanna take a, take a brief moment to acknowledge uh, Ms. Audrey Reed Quarles, uh, who is the president of Fairwall Harlem Heights Community Association. Thank you so much Thank you. for your leadership here in the community. Um, would you like to? Yeah. I just want to thank um, Parks and Rec and for our councilman and assistant city manager for um, this beautiful park that we was have been looking for a long time. And I grew up in this neighborhood and I'm proud still. And I'm grateful and thankful for all of you who've come out to um, experience this um, opportunity to um, share our park with us. And I thank you again. She, she did a phenomenal job. She, I was going back and forth with her on whether she was going to speak uh, this afternoon. And I'm glad she was able to get up and, and speak to, our, to the community. So thank you so much again for your, your leadership. I also want to recognize our local HUD field office uh, director, Kristen Foy. Uh, without HUD, this would not be possible. Uh, so I want to thank them for their partnership. also want to thank our very own Gloria Saeed, uh, direct, our director of community development, and her entire team. And Gloria is here with us, so thank you so much for your collaboration and work uh, on our application. Um, community development, do some, they, they do some awesome work, and uh, we're grateful to have the leadership of Gloria with the City of Columbia. Also want to recognize, of course, our Parks and Recreation team, uh, led by Mr. Randy Davis, uh, our Director of Parks and Recreation, uh, Kenya Bryant, our Deputy Director, uh, Todd Martin, who's our uh, Project Manager, and just all of our entire team who work together to make these things happen. Because, you know, once it's in place, uh, we have to maintain it, and it has to be sustainable. So those are the people that help maintain and sustain uh, what we have in place. So we're very grateful uh, for their work and their commitment to um, to this community and the communities across the city of Columbia. So we're very grateful for your presence on today. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to transition to do the actual ribbon cutting. And after the actual ribbon cutting, we're going to have an opportunity for uh, some interviews as well. But thank you all so much uh, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, this is a beautiful day, as Councilman Davis has stated. And again, we're very proud of the work uh, that's been done behind us and our goal is to continue to maintain that work uh, for years to come so again thank you so much for being here today